All right. Uh, I don't even remember where I was. I'm in Rotten Ravine. Okay. 12,000 experience till next level. Yay! <coughs> Where am I? What's in here? Oh, you're fast. Does he have beer for free? Good day. Good. Hey. Good. I still don't know what's up with that whole free beer thing. Hey, side quest. Can you help me, Baron? Hey, Donk C. <sighs> I don't want to. But <laughs> he's an asshole. Sure, I hope you just tell me what's up. My people are rebellious. They are scattered in several villages and royster here and there. Please, calm them down, Baron. I won't handle this alone. I'll try to deal with them. Does he just want me to kill him or something? There's a chest in there! I'm gonna walk through walls if I can't get in. Let me in. Oh, the door is too short. I'm not a midget. I don't think I can use stairs if walk through walls is on. Gay. Uh, let's find out. Um, what was it? G. Collision. Zero. Yep. I ain't gonna be able to get in. <laughs> I can't get up there if there's no way to contact the stairs. Damn it! Huh. Now I'm curious about what's in that chest. Um, no matter what, it, I don't know why I'm gonna mess with this, but it's probably not a good idea. What's that? Uh, I don't even know what that does. Huh. Well, there's probably some way I could like make my only like my lower half, like make my. Tallness, collisionness, smaller, but I don't know how to do all that shit. But whatever. I don't want to buy no horses. Okay, so where am I? Uh oh. This guy is strong. Oh, he's a bandit level four. I thought he was just a thief like this guy.
Well, that's a bandit level four. I don't care how much they hit me. I'm gonna stab that guy. Yeah, you can shoot through trees. That's nice, buddy. All those pumpkins. Damn it! Stupid rock. Uh, I guess we'll do the side quest. what to talk about. Is this beautiful water? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I'm not surprised if they actually threw him out of here. Just because he's a fucking idiot. Stupid Don C. He's a fucking asshole. Took all my money. How do I get down there? Oh well, let's sell more crap to this guy. Do you want to buy? Do you want to buy something? I don't want to buy anything. What's that? A set for medium weapons? You can have it. I got like all oh, this. Uh, isn't that a double weapon? Yeah, it is. Mine are way better, right? 55, 53. So if I upgrade that, that'll get at least five more points, which would make it 57, which would make it better than this. But not really, because the light weapon skill makes that even better. I think. Huh. Oh well. Sell you sell, 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 sell. Never even got to use that crossbow yet. Let's just use it and see how it goes. It increases your rain skill. Well, I can't just shoot it. damage I'm doing. And apparently they can't get to me over here. Wall hacks. Okay, 800 damage goes to... Okay, so 170 damage each shot. I could probably just check, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I should probably save this. But there, now we know what that does. Do, 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 do. 
Okay, now I have to find a way to get over to that. Why am I heading down here anyway? Damn it. Hmm, is it map? Got for sale. Let's see what you got. I don't remember if food regenerates or not. I Give me some four full health potions though. Does he have any? Only one. Well, you're not very useful now, are ya? Let's just take all of them. Come on, are you serious? Oh, hey. this game. Mm, garbage in this one. Three hundred gold. 350 gold almost, and that. Another house I can't walk into. Seven iron chest. <laughs> no. Can't walk in this house either. Of this house. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Now how do I get out? <laughs> you're welcome to that one, but you can't see inside it. Get lost while you're still alive! Oh, yeah? Go on. Demonstrate proficiency. Demonstrate proficiency with weapons. Wow, that's a real master. How did you do that? I can teach you, but you need to stop that silly riot. Riot, riot. Fine. I don't like this anyway. Why break everything around us? We won't have more money because of it. That's what I was about to say. Then we gotta do. Okay, well, let's stun with those people. Riots. It's everywhere. <laughs> Occupation Rotten Ravine. <laughs> uh, Occupy Rotten Ravine. <laughs> oh <my God>. Who's there? I just wanted to find out why the brave soldiers of John see robbing people and behave disgr disgracefully. What's the matter with me? Well, you see, what can I do? My salary is miserable. I hate I'm not even works. paid the minimum. And I have a family to feed. Where am I supposed <laughs> to get the money? <laughs> and this assistant of Don Cassie, he's convinced us. An easy job, easy loot, stuff. I'll talk to... Don, see regarding your salary, he'll pay you everything and he'll add a little bit extra to have a hmm. a risky offer. But okay, I'm ready to serve under the Don's command, but only if he pays the salary in due time. Okie dokie. Whatever. I don't care, you can kill everybody in this town. Sucks anyway. 
can't get into the houses. I don't even know if I ever even went to these stores. Do you want to buy? I don't remember. Pretty sure I did. Yep, I had to have. He has some wood in there. What did you want? Stop robbing! You think there's enough injustice in this world without you? Return to Dong Si, he'll reward. Yeah, Your Grace, you're right! It was his servant! He told us it would be easy loot! Okay, that was awkward. Hey, vegetables! If I remember right, the last one, no matter who it is, is different. I think they like try and fight you or something, but I don't know. Or they're just harder to talk to. I don't remember. I can't get into this house. Oh, damn this. The heck? I still can't. Oh, there we go. Stupid game. And your stupid glitches. Okay, quick save. Oh, this guy. What do you need? Wonder why did you betray C? It's my business. I still think that I it is. told you it's none of your business. Okay, well that didn't go too well. I wonder what happens if I have better, uh... Because I always had to kill these guys, but I bet if you have better diplomacy, you don't have to. I don't care. I don't even feel like filling up my diplomacy to find out what happens. Could have came back to it later, though. I go all the way back up here. Shit balls. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah, nah. 
I should have stopped recording. Great, next fire skips. Er, next fire. <laughs> Perhaps. Pick an next fire. So what about my soldiers, Baron? Stupid fraps. I returned under your command, on Thank you, Baron. I am in your debt. You're welcome. I'm always glad to help. So I got 7,000 coins? I'm confused. Did it just say I got... Didn't it just say I got... Or did I get like 3,000 experience? No, because I only needed like... Or, okay, I got 4,000 experience. 3,000 coins. I think. I gotta pay more attention. That shit needs to stay on the screen longer. It's just like flash and it disappears. You prick! Ah! I put the sword in the stone. Okay, damn it, I knew it was gonna do something crazy. Uh oh. PV bandits! Ooh, he has pretty armor. It's pretty, it's all gold and shiny. These guys got those stupid thiefy plates. And baseball bats! What a fool, you cannot get out of here alive, I guarantee. Ah. Oh, damn, he might be right. Well, I'm out of there alive, ha ha ha! Hey, you had a health upgrade. And max health. Yeah. Stop hitting me. Fall over. Yeah. You didn't fall over. Increased piece of paper. Never actually read that. Uh, screw it. Welcome, I need to talk to you face to face wherever you are. I need to, as soon as you finish work, go to the drunkard's lair. I'll be waiting for you there. See that? Bullshit! It pops up so fast. Okay, so what did I say? <laughs> Apparently, I need to go to the drunkard's lair. Because Rudolph is there. I think that was Rudy, right? I don't know. Oh, lair. Donkey lair, donkey lair, dun dun dun.
little ba 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 da ba. Okay. Drunk Road Slayer. Spiders all came back. Did the plants come back? <laughs> Oh, where'd that tree come from? It's creepy. Did I miss any plants over here? Guess not. Okay, let's get out of here. Giant birds. Hurry up, let's go kill everything. he come out of? He comes out of here. Spider. Just trying to make sure everything is dead. Hi Rudolph, bye Rudolph. Any mushrooms planted around here? Is he st he's still over here? Huh. Greetings! It's all so strange, I can't understand. He's just surrounded by mushrooms. Yeah. I never actually looked over here, over anywhere, for 
mushrooms or anything pickable that's goodness. Okay. Hello. Good afternoon. Glad to see you, young man. I have good news and bad news for you. Uh, I'm going with the bad one today. It's already ruined anyway. It's about the artifact you were looking for. I think I was wrong when I tried to talk you out of it. I wonder why you changed your mind so eagerly. We performed a thoughtful analysis of the situation. We built a model of all recent events, how the public mood was changing, which forces appeared to the political and social scene, and which ones disappeared. It turned out there was something opposing us. Not very strongly, but persistently and constantly. That was the reason that all our plans in the end turned out to be a failure, and the work over the course of many years gave no results. I told you so, didn't you did. I? did. But you missed one important thing. This force is acting right at this moment, which only means that the Prophet already has this mythical artifact in his possession, if we are to follow your reasoning. You're wrong if he obeyed the artifact. The uh, irremediable would happen. What irreparable <laughs> damage. It's already <laughs> happened in quite a few times before now. Thousands of innocent people die. Any knowledge is burned out with a hot iron. Look around. Can't you see that? I see, but I've seen the same even before the Prophet. I think that matters can still get worse. They might, although I'm sure they're already as bad as they can get. Maybe you're right, and the Prophet hasn't found the artifact yet. Or it might already be too late. I think we need to find him either way. I agree, what well, good news Today yeah. I received a reply to my inquiry about you. Remember you gave me one of Musan's journals? On Earth, they put all the facts together. Also, when the bio-blockade was injected, we took a sample of your DNA. It's a standard procedure performed at the same time as the inject. What the hell is this DNA? You're once again doing things without, with me without letting me know? Don't worry. As I told you, it's standard procedure. DNA is... Uh, I'm afraid you might not understand, but I'll try to explain. It's a part of your body, but a very small one. Uh, Much smaller than a drop of blood, for example. But it can hold a lot of information about you. One can figure out who your relatives were, what diseases you're prone to, and much more. Initially, I didn't pay much attention to it. But in the end, your DNA played a crucial role in the current situation. Uh, looks like shamanism to me. What <laughs> you telling me? Real science has nothing to do with witchcraft. But anyway, what did you find out? You are actually the offspring of Baron Moosen, and his estate is in fact rightfully yours. Your story about being an imposter and claiming the right of succession at the request of a ghost was an incredible coincidence. But I know you know the fact. Holy oh, crap. Why was your that parents nowhere? took care of that. Your mother was a Moosen by birth. She was killed by mercenaries. It was pirates or smugglers. At those times, they were venturing deep into Arkanar. They abducted her with the intention of collecting a ransom, but they were cornered by the Baron's servants, so they got rid of her and got away. It must be hard for you to hear this. That's all right. You're on a my Your father was there. Joshua Brasser, <laughs> a man from Earth and an it agent said of ours. Instead of father, instead of father. He was here posing as a renowned my aristocrat father. at the center of the empire, the prime the minister of finance by the court of the king of Arkanar. He met I your mother at one of the royal balls. <laughs> I don't even know what he said. I wasn't. Is there a. All I heard was royal balls. <laughs> stupid, she laughed. She's <laughs> still alive. I don't know. After his wife died, Joshua secretly sent you to the center of the empire. Nobody knew about it. You probably had a recommendation if you ended up in scout school. Wait, Joshua Then he left to search right? for the pirates. He equipped a fleet of three galleys. The crew was made up of the best Imperial mercenaries. For over three years, burned and trashed pirate ships were found all over the shores. People saw his ships in harbors, but they didn't stay for long. For quite a while now, there's been no word about him. But we don't have any evidence. Did you try we tried, but all of our searches turned up nothing. 
Strangely, he was the only agent of the Institute who went on a rampage and was not found afterwards. So, I am an Earthman. Was the old Baron related to me? Is he my uncle? Yes, he's your mother's brother, and yes, you're an Earthman. From the oh. biological point of view. Although some of your deeds attest to that as well. well does it right change now, anything? absolutely nothing. But after the discussion at the Institute, we've decided to transfer you back to Earth. Naturally, only if you agree. I would think carefully about this offer if I were you. You don't want me to go to Earth? Well, as for me, I'd be glad to see you on Earth. I really like you. And many of your deeds have been worthy of an Earthman. But you see, our society is very different from this one. It's almost impossible to explain. For instance, here you can kill a man if it is necessary. In our society, any murder is an absolutely extraordinary thing. And if it happens, it means that, well, it simply can't happen. Do you understand? Not really. In order for my tag. Hmm. Well, that's also unrealistic. Basically, you will find it very difficult to adjust, but it's still possible. I believe in you. You hear it? Someone's coming. I never actually listened to all that bullshit. I always just went to you hear it, someone's coming. Great. Good afternoon, Rudolph. Who are you? Boris Yun? How did you get it? I'm reading his text. Didn't you die about 15 years ago? Apparently his uh, text isn't working now. Allow me to introduce myself. Audio, I am Count it? Ramon. How can a thing explain yourself? That's Rudolph, by the way. Why do Not I me. have to explain anything? <laughs> oh, I got fed up with doing that at the Institute. At times it seemed to me that everyone of that fine establishment was a hopeless moron. That's why I had no other choice than to die. And Rudolph says, so I I see, so the accident with you and Grizz Shah Ruzumi was just a setup. Where is he now? Don Ordanos is busy defending my castle. You know, from barbarians, prophets, all kinds of other scum. They can get so bothersome. And Rudolph says, stop calling bodies and realize what you've done. Forgery, unlawful infiltration of the zone in the historical experiment attempt at this young man's life to agents. That was your work, too. Did you know that... One of them was from Earth. He had a family, for your information. You turned into a beast, Boris. The death of the Earthman is not on my conscience. Same for the others. My men only eliminated people in Arkanar. I didn't enjoy it, but I had no choice. And if you'd spare me your morality lessons, Rudolph, I'd be very grateful. I didn't come here to listen to them. And frankly, I didn't much want to return to the world of the living. But now the situation is slipping out of my control. Oh, really? You are in control here. I did. It slipped out of control quite a time ago. Might I remind you about the events that took place a year and a half ago? The Institute overlooked Don Reba, and after that, failed to control anything. I wasn't there at the time, but now it's not important. You're saying that you had a reason to contact if us. If you remember, I was studying the stranger's artifact. Our professors constantly mocked me for it. That was the main reason why I moved to Zarenica. My analysis of the information had demonstrated that there absolutely had to be something there. Local legends and historical sources confirmed my theory. The artifact does exist, and it is here. Also, I know that the Prophet is looking for it so that he can have it for himself. I failed in locating it. I don't even want to imagine what will happen if the artifact falls in his hands. Rudolph, okay, well, me and our young friend have just discussed it. We're likely already, already too late. Modeling the situation demonstrated a presence of a strong back pressure that likely indicates that the Prophet already has the artifact in his position. That is, if the artifact actually exists. You're wrong. I also did those calculations. Such an opposing force existed earlier, long before the Prophet showed up. That's why I concluded that this artifact can directly influence the evolution of a society on its own. The influence is weak, but constant. It could be everything is possible. We just set up more models to have a better idea. And it takes time, which we simply don't have. And we have no clue where to look for this cursed artifact. The Hiccup Forest. What? 
You heard me. The Hiccup Forest. The artifact is there. Everything points there. Legends, sayings, even the entire religion of barbarians is based on the worship of this forest. Do you remember what that nutty copper skin was talking about? That's simply impossible. Of course, we didn't perform any detailed reconnaissance. But the satellites didn't find anything special with the exception of some particularly unusual life forms. Rudolph, I don't want to keep arguing, but I have very solid reasons to believe that the artifact is in the Hiccup Forest. My guy's Moreover, been standing on one leg I looked this through my time. older records and noticed that there was something <laughs> similar in the Amazon jungle. There is a dead city that once held a tribe that worshipped men descended from the sky. So we've already had a similar episode in our own history. I think it's absolutely sci anti-scientific, Boris. We have studied the Earth extensively, and to think that... Well, what's your suggestion, then? Throw up your hands and say you have no idea where to look? I'm afraid that pure theory won't be of much help in this situation. We need to start searching and keep searching until we find it. If we only knew where to start. I, for one, do not know. If you're so sure, there's a starting point, I guess. I think I remember something. Probably we need to dismiss the young man and have a talk. Don't look at me in this way. You have to realize what you've done. I demand you... I won't demand that you return to your earth this very instant. We're drastically short of men. But we still have to discuss several issues. Gladly! Well, Baron, in just a couple of words. Okay. Finally, they're talking and I'm going to have to read it. Many things have started to click into place. I'll try to figure it out. It could be that Count... Well, that Boris was right, and such a place exists on our home planet, too. But this will take some... T Am I supposed to do I now? I think it's best to forget about the Prophet for now. We need to find the exact location of the artifact. Sooner or later, the Prophet will come for it. We must stay ahead of him and then set up a warm meeting when he arrives. It's easy to say, how can we find it? We only have hints, no real That's clues. right. Therefore, any hint must be very thoroughly examined. I've been thinking about it for quite some time, and I think our friend Pampa is a very good lead. Are you saying that the artifact is located in his castle? Yes and no. The Bao family is very old, ancient even. The founder of the family was a hunter for Marshal Taz and came to this land together with him. As legend has it, there was an ancient order which... What's so funny? An order? An ancient one? <laughs> Again? It's a real order this time. Old records of it can still be found in the libraries and book depositories of the Empire. It had something to do with the Hiccup Forest. Still, the main purpose remains unclear. I think you should see Pampa and try to figure out the details. That's all we have to start with at this point. I think he has a magical rock or something. Okay, I'll start right away. And then I have to go and collect magical rocks from other people. Why am I spoiling the game? I'm stupid. <laughs> Funny business we have there, Your Grace. It turns <laughs> out that you're half Earthman. Exactly as I supposed. And you'd been arguing and dismissing my ideas. Indeed, young aristocrats never listen to wisdom. Okay, I'm a half Earthman. Point is, it changes nothing. Why's that? You, Your Grace, now have a unique chance to visit your father's homeland. And by doing that, you'd be able to familiarize yourself with the source of their knowledge and culture, and eventually become as powerful and as wise as they. I don't have any idea what you're, why you were talking about that. Hmm. That was actually a kind of test. I was trying to find out if you really fell for Sikorsky's offer to leave for another world. I know it's very tempting to leave everything behind and start a new life in a new place. There you'd know no sadness, illness, poverty, and other similar things which are present in abundance in this world. That is, if the Earthmen are telling the truth. You know, I'm pretty much fed up with all these if, maybe, and like of yours. You always have your doubts with you. Why do they have to word everything so stupid? It's like a Google Translate. Can't you just simply believe in something? You can, of course. If you're a donkey, you can. Oh, I'm sorry. You just told me that you're tired of this. So, you decided to leave with Sikorsky when it's all over? 
I don't know yet. Let's first see what we end up with once it's over, if there's an end to it. Why are you so concerned about my future? You may not have noticed, but my concern about your future has expressed itself a number of times up until this point. I actually don't want you to leave this world. Why? You see, I think it's oh, better God. to live in a world full of danger, hunger, and diseases, where people are <laughs> constantly trying to slit each other's throat, <laughs> but in a world of real people. Real people capable of sincere love, compassion, dreams, hope. <laughs> it's difficult to live in such a world, but it's real life. It's very different from a world of arrogance and fastidiousness, where people stop themselves from getting dirt on their hands just because they'd have a heavy heart afterwards. Those are windbags who would easily trade human lives for another couple of lines in their scientific research. They're saying they care for the well-being of others? That's bullshit. They only think about themselves. I see you're not fond of Earthmen. They played you a bad trick? <laughs> I think it was me who's been used and killed. Why are you jumping on them? I have my reasons. I feel that they're walking a road which is going to lead them to a place where Don Ramada's currently living his miserable life. The soul healers, that's what awaits <laughs> them in the end. And not one by one. Played you a bad They'll trick. meet that destiny all together as one. I don't like people who can easily allow others to die while <sighs> covering themselves with noble intentions. I just dislike <laughs> it. Themselves that's why I advise tricks. you to think carefully before accepting Sikorsky's <laughs> offer. What do you think? Can you live in a world full of hypocrites? Or are you going to die of boredom in a couple of years? <laughs> I'm not looking that far ahead. Formo the thing of foremost importance right now is to find the artifact. Otherwise, I would likely have no other choice but to escape to another world. If the prophet manages to convert everybody there into zombies, it's better to not think of it all. It at all. I have business to finish, and then I'll decide what I am going to do. And you assume you'd have time for that, at that point? We'll see. We'll see. Bows. Are we gonna go on that adventure now? I wanna go and kill some mages. Oh, I should have got my shotgun. You can't kill mages without a shotgun. If Pampa orders it, I'll cut you to pieces. This place is too small to be worth getting a horsey. Huh. I made a save. A save, just in case. A save. Do you have anything to sell? Yes, I do. I have a bunch of junk to sell. Good day! Show me your underwears! Add some more feathers to your feathers.
Buy some junk. Here, have some junk. Have some junk. Take it. Not that. 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 And that. Yeah. Money. It's totally what I need. More money. What's in that tent? Nothing. Okay, I couldn't get out for a minute there. Open. Does this shop have anything useful? Hey. What the hell is that? Hey. Oh, it's in this building. Duh. Does he have food? I want food. Hello. Well, not food, but. Like some full health potions. Damn it, he doesn't got it. He has this armor though, which is really good, but I don't want to get that. I can get one of these. this shit. Bamba! Let's go hunt some mages. Side quest? Greetings, Baron. You visit us in hard time. What horrors can scare the fearless warriors of Baron Pampa? I saw the adepts of the pet beast cult in the forest. Can you imagine that? They're worshipping Pe! It's horrible. Shortly after the cult worshippers arrived here, the animals vanished from the local woods. It must be that Pe has eaten them all. And if he wants to eat us, even our noble Baron would not be able to... I'll try to find out what's happening here. Where can I find these pagans? You really want to help us? Then listen. Sect followers were seen by the old heathen temple behind the Baron's castle. All right, I'll try. Okay, that's what that was for. But I can't go and kill a pet beast. I already tried, and it didn't go very well. I could, but it's just... You're just in time, dear Baron. I'm very bored. In fact, I'm so bored that I don't even want to drink! What happened, Baron? The Baroness has left me. <laughs> How? And the Baronet, too. They went to Estor. It's terrible. 
<laughs> I don't understand how is it possible. How? You ask me how it's possible? Damn this prophet! If it was my will, I swear to God that I would have him pinched on the castle's flagstaffs! By a part of his wretched body on every last one of them! Excuse me, Don, I'm quite excited. But damn me if you know how badly I want to kill him! And what is the link between his prophet and all of this? I don't understand it. Oh yes, he has a role in this. Gangs of ragamuffins are ravaging local lands. The boars are gone. Even the wolves are gone. The other day we caught two of the newly arrived saints' men. In my castle! The Baroness couldn't sleep for two weeks! How do you think I feel about it, my dear Don? I would give my life for her. I had to insist that they leave until the disturbances cease. I think that's a reasonable decision. Reasonable? You don't understand, dear Don! You don't understand a thing! Even when these barbarians descended from the hills, when the kings of Arkinar led a siege on Bao, even when crazed slaves from the mines went all the way to Irukan, we haven't separated. The Bao family has never left these walls or fled. But I love her too much. Now Bao is dead, and soon I will be too. I think that you are too melancholic about that, Baron. Think of it like Baroness went on a journey and soon she will be back. You think so? A journey? Yes, that's possible. Don, you cure my diseased soul. To think of it that way is much easier. But it's so boring to be here alone. Even my neighbors, who are parasites without kith or kin, stop paying me visits. They are afraid, the cowards. They stay locked up in their estates and tremble in fear before this prophet and his bunch of ragamuffins. It's deadly boring here. I even visited my own library. There's so much dust in there. <coughs> you did? So you have a library? I thought your castle would be the last place in the visit in search of a library. Oh, uh, you know my attitude toward the sciences, dear Don. But one of my ancestors happened to be a personal huntsman of the famous Taz himself. All the court people of that time had to know literacy and other sciences by order of the emperor. It was a silly fancy, but he is an emperor after all. And so my ancestor created this library. Yesterday I was looking through his manuscript. Have you read it? Don't laugh at me, Don. I was attracted by etchings. Yes, my ancestor was quite good at drawing, especially battles and animals. By the way, the manuscript turned out to be very interesting. I found a silver plate with peculiar engraving in the lining. I can't understand why he sewed it inside. By chance, has your ancestor had any connection with some ancient order? He did indeed. How did you guess, dear Don? It's all about rumors, Baron. Besides, there's also a family library. There's a note of your family and some order in the manuscript. Really? Hmm. You know, dear Don, I'm beginning to think that there are some positive sides to being literate. Yes, there was an order. But by now we have completely forgotten about the reasons for its origin. I recall that it was somehow connected with the hiccuping forest to the northeast of my lands. Baron, I always love such heroes. Tell me what you know about this order. <laughs> what is the place it's connected My with? dear friend, sometimes you remind me of the deceased Don Rumata. Yeah. May his noble soul rest in peace. You show interest in meaningless trifles that aren't worth a good roasted deer's meat. I don't like fairy tales. I won't help you with anything. It's a pity. On the other hand, here, take this. It's the manuscript I told you about. I put the plate back in the lining. Maybe it will help you somehow. Also, I remember that the Toronto family was connected with that order. They learned to write before they learned to wield a blade. Could you imagine such nonsense? <laughs> they are very strange people. I thank you, Barry. You can't even imagine how you've helped me. Me? With what, dear Don? You're about to leave. It's such a pity. But thanks for the talk. You've been able to allay my depression, and I even feel like <laughs> drinking again. <laughs> you are welcome anytime. I'll be waiting for you. Farewell. I was wondering, 
What's happening to people that causes them to completely forget their past so quickly? Especially things of the greatest importance. Take the order, for example. Apparently, the most noble aristocrats had the mystery in their possession. If Ramon and Sikorsky were telling the truth, they had the power of the gods. And what do we have now? After a couple of generations, everything was forgotten. There was a time when the emperor himself would have renounced his power to have your ancestors' documents in his possession. What about now? Those documents are lying in a letterbox covered with dust, and no one actually needs them. How the hell is that possible? Did you ever think that they are actually forced to forget about it? That's what I was thinking. Not only forget, but get quite dumb in the process. Everyone says that a couple of cycles ago, any one of the courtiers was able to read and write, and the Soan Academy of Science was flourishing. The one we have now is nothing but a shadow of its former greatness. Where are the scientists? Where are the poets and artists? Have you seen the tapestries in the castles we visited up to this point? Of course, very nice crafts. Yep. Nowadays, no one exactly. Makes them. No one can even reproduce one of those. The smiths no longer make new armor and swords. They just attempt to copy what existed long before them. The design of the clothes has not changed for decades. How could that be possible? If you think that I'm able to answer your questions, you're certainly mistaking. But <laughs> mistaking. It's mistaken. Stupid game. But you're right about one thing. We are degrading, and soon enough we'll descend into the barbaric ways of the living. And what even what's What's even more terrifying is we're not even noticing. Being literate, honest, and righteous is not suit a noble down anymore. Funny indeed. I don't see much reason for joy, actually. <laughs> but anyway, it's more like a philosophical dispute. And being a philosopher doesn't suit a noble don. Uh, Stop grumbling and do me a favor. Better tell me what's to do with Pompa's documents. And what is that plate? Well, I think I know what the deal is. What about you? I have my thoughts regarding this matter. I'd just like to know your opinion. <laughs> Holy crap! Listen, could it be that the staff in the Prophet's possession is the artifact we're looking for? And that he's already started to use it liberally? <laughs> He's been using this stick and touching it to people's heads. He has been liberally applying it to people's heads and turning them into zombies. <laughs> Head on, applied directly to the forehead. <laughs> I mean that the world has just turned upside down. Your grace <laughs> deigned to ask me my humble opinion. Stop it, you promised. Yes, yes, I remember. I shall not mock thy grace, I shall not tread on thy pet corn, and so on. Can't I just pull a joke once in a little while? As for my thoughts, I think that this plate is actually part of some amulet, one of the twelve. The old records say that you only can unravel the mystery after you've collected all twelve parts. It's codex pages! That means that it has to be something like a map of sorts. So we'll somehow have to get them from the descendants of the former members of the order. We'll probably be able to buy them, at least some of them. We already know of one. It's Toronto. I think we should start there. So, these are my thoughts. I was thinking about the same, but where is the warranty that the prophet was not going to do exactly the same, and or if we're already too late to seek the Same artifact? old story again. I remember we were talking about it in Castle Ramon, weren't we? You started to whine and lament over it. And I say before you actually try it, you never know if an idea is worth it or not. Got it? I have nothing more to say on this matter. Yeah, got it. Calm yourself. Cape crazy. We're supposed to go hunt mages, Pompa. Fucker. There's some people up there worshipping a pet monster beast. How am I supposed to kill a pet beast? I guess we can try. I mean, if I had some food, it would be... Yeah, let's head the other direction and stop at those other two shops and 
see if I can get some full health potions. And then we can go up there and fight this stupid pet beast. Gotta go this way and this way. Talk to that blacksmith guy. Hello, I'm a local trader. Hello, show me your wares. Full health potions! Yay! Give me, like, 20 of these fucking things. 25 of them, 18,000 gold. It's like... A lot of health. And give me these mushrooms too, for the hell of it. Flowers, whatever. I don't care what they are. All good? Anything I can sell this guy? No. Okay. Gonna go kill a pair of monsters. I'm thinking we should switch to the light weapons for this. Huh. Let's say if I can manage to kill those other guys and then get like a frenzy mode, I'll be able to like go crazy on them and do a ton more damage. Did I get a level up? I think I did. Yes, I did. Huh. Maybe... What is this going to increase to? It's 875, 176, 875. Whoa. That increased my damage a lot. Maybe we should just use power strikes. What should I increase? Stamina, health. Medicine's always good. Although we have enough money and enough potions to live forever. Let's probably increase ranged weapons. That sounds like a really good idea. Yeah. How much does that increases from 170 to 194? Well now I guess I might as well just use this. Huh. Do, 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 do. We have so much money, it's just insane. Insane!
Now, I do not want to get my frenzy mode up until I get close to that pet monster up there. So we're gonna take you guys with me, I think. Nah. Oh wait, he's not dead. Come on with me, buddy. There's an increased frenzy when I kill people like that. Wonderful. Well, hopefully those guys are up here worshipping. Or something. Like they're supposed to be. That did not just happen. Wonderful. That's just fucking perfect. Okay, the game crashed, but I just loaded up. As I said, I felt like I should save way back there at the beginning, and I, it's good that I did. And this time I bought all my shit as I walked down, and I just quickly ran up and talked to everybody and skipped through really fast. It only took like a few minutes. Five minutes. At the most. Could have probably left it in, but that would have been dumb to just redo all that. Do do do, and uh, yeah, we got this now. And that's pretty much it. And this. Whatever. Oh yeah, I got that level up too. Again. Right? Right? Yes. Okay. Put in a ranged weapon. So we might actually end up using that on the pan monster. If it doesn't crash. Let's quick save again, but right here. I think that sounds good. Hey, it didn't crash. Yay! The screen just flickered. <laughs> Shooting me! Getting hit with arrows in every direction! mode yet. Ah! Oh! Gotta get all the way up here. Look, the crowd, as it was said. Maybe they are magicians, maybe monks. I don't understand. <laughs> I remember that one of the boys in the School of Reconnaissance played a trick on the water worshippers. They were calling for a kind of <laughs> talisman of theirs. They were worshipping, keeping watch, and making sacrifices for 30 days. 
So he brought a kind of liquid to their altar, a cure for constipation. But the talisman was meant to cure them from the consumption that affected them. So he took it. All of it. They say that he was afraid even to sneeze from that day on. Well, they are fools that believe in such nonsense. Oh, and what's this? <laughs> okay. Well, it looks like I'm not gonna get frenzy mode, which is sort of bad. I guess this guy ain't gonna be too much of a problem. As long as I can just try and keep dodging him as much as I can. Stop fighting me! It's like a giant snapping lizard turtle thing. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! No, sit, stay. Oh shit. Well, I guess that ain't gonna work. Okay, if I keep edging myself this way, you shouldn't be able to hit me every time, apparently. Haha! -ha! Found your weakness. Like, if I just keep pushing, like, in this direction to the right while I'm swinging, for some reason he won't be able to hit me. Aha! I got your tongue. Isn't that worth, like, 300-something? Oh, never mind. 720 gold for his tongue. A big, long, stretchy tongue. What does it say? Big piece... A piece of meat, two cubits long, that oozes with a disgusting slime. It's only valuable because it's a tongue of the fed beast itself. It looks like I didn't need to waste all my money on all those potions. So just run towards its face, like at a rightward angle. Like, if he was standing right here, you'd run like this, in this direction, like at an angle, while you're swinging. And for some reason, he can't hit you. Apparently. Or at least not every time. So, it'd be really hard for him to kill you if you just keep swinging. And then run away, and then just pit stop to regenerate stamina. Or use a stamina potion. Which I got a ton of. I'm invincible! Haha! I saved up too much money. <laughs> do, do, do. After this, I'm gonna go and kill that other one. After I turn in this, I'm gonna go and kill that other pet beast. And then... Uh, well... Right after I turn this in, I'm going to stop recording and run up to the door, and then once I get to the other town where the other pet beast is, I'll start recording, and then we'll go and kill that pet beast, and then Baron, we'll do the do you have any news? Place. Listen, I agreed to help you because I was sure that pet doesn't really exist, or that was some huge beast, but imagine, I really saw it. I saw a pet. It was terrible when I arrived. Pet was already killing everybody, and there was nothing to do except killing him, and I killed pet. You did it, Baron? <laughs> That's incredible! How did you manage to defeat such a monster? You know, I'm beginning to think that all the rumors about you are true. You are indeed a great warrior. You've saved the locals from that beast. Thank you. Farewell. Wait, is that all? What about a reward? Do I risk my life for nothing? Yes, but you know, Baron, these are hard times. Hey, you promised your word. Hold, so hold on to your word. If I died, it would be much worse for you. Imagine you being accused of murdering the last moose and oh, just pay me. Well, you are a friend of the Baron after all. And if he knows about that, he'll whip me to death. 
That's the way. I don't think I would have got anything if I didn't say that. I'd still get the experience, but... I wouldn't get the present of monies. <laughs> I need the money anyway. And I think if my diplomacy was too low, you wouldn't have got that either. You'd probably have just been like, fuck you. That's why I got my diplomacy up to 10. It's a good idea to do that soon. I think I finished this game once without using any potions. Because <laughs> you don't really need them if you get your food and your medicine high enough. Stop recording on my way up the store. Oh well. I was busy talking. Get the hell out of here. We are going to. What was it? Vicaris? I want to go and kill that pet beast down there and get some. Loot stuffs. Now that I think about it, I shouldn't even have bothered because I have to go back to Vaisari sometime for another piece of that amulet thingy. Codex pages, whatever. <laughs> Stupid tree. Hey, I got frenzy mode. Okay, so let's see if this actually works. Okay, he's being buggy. Right and hit him. Ah, uh, the stupid wall is in the way. Yeah, he seems to miss me if I keep walking to the right and swinging to the right. But not if he gets me up against something. Hit the son of a bitch! Is there anything even here? I don't even know if that's even worth doing. I never actually knew why that pet beast, yeah, pet beast was over here. I think it was like a troll by the game. Because he, that guy says he found that clip and that sword down here in the woods. It's like a trap by the game. Unless this is the woods I was looking for. Like, I was wandering through all of those woods for a while. Because I 
swear to God, I remember some woods somewhere. Where there's like a guy's body laying there and there's some human weapons on him somewhere. In some woods. I just don't know where it was. I don't remember where that was. I'll find it though. Probably before this whole... All this shit's done with. Hey, it led us right to a door, so that was quick and easy. We got over a thousand health now. Which we would have if I wasn't eating all those stinky mushrooms anyway. So. To Baron Toronto's! Hey, this is a new estate, I think. Hmm. Is this new? I don't remember if this is new or not. Have we been here before? I can't even remember. We've been to so many random ones that I just have no idea. I don't think we've been here though. Find out when we get to a store. It has food in it. Damn. What if it's these woods? I hope it's not these woods. There's a lot of woods here. Stop with the arrows. <laughs> Thank you. Seriously, the wolves have bandits on their sides now. Crap, some crazy there for a second. This is a bandit level 4 wearing some fancy armor shit. And a hat. Every other bandit level 4 looked like that one. Oh, and I'm out of carrying space for junk. Okay, get rid of the teeth, get rid of that. These are only worth like 50 something. Okay. Give me gumdrops. I don't know who this guy is, but he's a fucking prick for not killing any bandits. Shouldn't have this many bandits in your land. Is in your land is this? Open sesame. Oh wait, that's not the store. This is the store. Oh. Um. Well, I guess we'll have to sell stuff and then come and sell stuff again. Lowest. Lowest prices or whatever. That is a weird looking cape. Any new shirts? Better than 4.5 armor? No. I have that brown pants, so those are four point uh still no capes worth wearing.
Oh, food. Although food's food's not really worth using anymore because like they probably cost more than 700 gold in food to heal up the same amount of health as a full potion, so it ends up being worthless after a while. But these potions are completely worthless because 270 health isn't worth 400 gold. Or 75 health or whatever. But it, even though mine actually heal more than that, so like 131 health isn't really worth 180 gold. Like price-wise. Price wise, uh, these cost like, what, 10 gold or something? And then they're worth almost 20 health, so they're worth almost twice as much. Blah! What am I doing? I gotta sell stuff. Oh, stupid, stupid. Lowest. Nice. Low Why do they switch those around? And perhaps just freaked out. You know what? I'm gonna sell everything, go through the chest, get that stuff, sell that, and then I'll be back. Okay, I sold everything, I did that chest, I sold everything, and now we got some crazy guy. An inventor. Well, as soon as I saw them, I... And they leapt right on me! Hehehe, <laughs> what are you talking about? Listen, I was in the forest the other day, right? I was picking berries. Whew, recalling it, I'm shivering with... So what happened, bandits attacking? Huh, not bandits! Spiders! Hundreds, thousands of spiders! I had barely escaped, and my dog, my lady, they had eaten my dog. Bloody s- I think that you're lying. No, I'm telling you the truth! Okay, I'll start from the beginning. I often go to the forest to pick berries, huh? Yesterday, I went there too. I wandered off deeper than usual, but then I picked a whole basket of berries. Good berries, yeah? I was going to head home, but noticed that my lady was missing. I called her again and again, but she didn't oh, this come. This is where that guy she is. She was missing. Damn it, it is here. Oh, uh, come on, go on with story. Don't interrupt me, and I will go on. So after that, I heard rustling in the bushes. It was scary, but I decided to look anyways. Maybe my lady had caught on something and couldn't get out. So I squeezed through the bushes, and behind them were a whole lot of spiders. They had trapped my lady with their webs, and then they rushed at me. I ran like hell to the road, and the spiders stayed behind. And my lady is no more. How interesting. Hmm, looks like you're telling the truth. Where have you seen these spiders? You... you believe me? I, I've seen the spiders near that edge of the forest. Yes, that's the place where I encountered them. Deal with the spiders, please. I'm afraid that they can attack kids who wander into the... Uh, sure, I will help Good. you. Good. Come back when you slay all the... Aha, I see. Aha! Well, first I'm gonna go to that store. Is that the blacksmith? Smith Blacks? Yes, it is. How do I get over there? Clogs! You haven't seen those in a while. What the hell are clogs doing in here? Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go find a way over to here. Are you in? Let's see what you got. Ooh, he has this armor.
Any better helmets? I have serious doubts he has any better helmets. <laughs> I didn't even know that this helmet was better, really. I don't even remember getting that. I always thought that one helmet was better. That one weird one that looks like a Stormtrooper helmet. I need more armor upgrade thingy, my jigger bobs. And I think I get new armor after this spider mission thing. Although I'm not completely sure. Did I see another side quest for my hallucinating? Okay, I do. Sleep. Now I won't have to wander through too many more forests because I know that this is the forest I was looking for. It just had to be the biggest forest ever. Hey, hey, hey! Why you found? So he come out and his garden's just gone. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Tomatoes! What the heck? I picked all the tomatoes and then the house opened up. Oh, it's a tavern. Uh, free beer? Is this another one you can get free beer at? Anyway. Uh. He just won't talk to me because I stole all his tomatoes. <laughs> Did I just get an Astorian sword or something? Or what the hell? Why did it just say... Okay, that was weird. I swear I just saw it say Astorian sword something something. I am following like some old trail. Nope, they're not all dead yet. Where's Mama's fighter? Oh, there she is. Look, I found his doggy. I saved his dog. Alright, now I have a dog following me. Okay, now where'd these spiders come from? Shit. Oh, where's their nest at? I can't leave. I know it's here! Where are you? Fuck, I'm gonna have to search this wood. I guess the dog can come with me. Come on, doggy! We will find... Uh, fetch. Search. Dog. Find the damn... thing I'm looking for. It has to be around here. Here it is! Damn it, I knew you guys were here. There it is! That's what I wanted. Exact replica is Sweeney Burger with Blah 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 blah
has miniature medical diagnostic device and it health plus three every five seconds. It's armor that permanently heals you constantly. You can't get much better than that. And you get a couple weapons sitting around here. That's what I was saving this for. Twenty-three armor. Now I get to sell that. And now I should have... Regeneration capabilities. Okay, so it's actually two health every... One, two, three. So it's actually like two health every twos or two and a half seconds or something. Whatever. So it's like two health every two seconds, not really three health every five seconds. It's more like three health every six seconds. Which would be two health every two seconds. Or maybe it is right, I don't know. I doubt it. Whatever. It regenerates. And now I got that shiny gold armor. I just gotta get out of here alive. Your worship? Dear, is that the possessions of Don Toronto? Truly, your worship. But Don is in the castle now. There, search him. There, the roofs can be seen from here. As for me, I'm a chief huntsman here. Came for hunting, eh? No, some other purpose, thanks. That's kind of weird. Oh yeah, I still got this dog following me. Come on, Poochie. Let's try and find your master guy thing, whatever. Damn it, let's get the hell out of here. How the hell do I get around out of this? There's walls everywhere. That's why I hate these towns. Hey, strawberries. Did someone just kill a dog? Like a dog dog? It's just what it sounded like. It didn't sound like a wolf, it sounded like a dog dog. Getting murdered. Come on, doggy! Didn't kill that dog, did it? No, okay. Hey! I want those lettuces. <laughs> Stay on everyone's farms. <laughs> cabbage, I mean. That is cabbage. They're totally different, and yet they look exactly the same, sort of. As far as crappy graphics game graphics. Master, go. have you killed the spiders already? Of course. Here. Occasionally saved your doggy. Oh, Shuchka! <laughs> he's alive! Thank you, good master. How can I show my gratitude? Said lady, but whatever. Well, listen, it's not necessary. I don't need no fucking money. No, no, I can't let you go without a reward. I promised, after all. You know what? Here, take this money. It's not. Well, if you'd like so, thank you for a while. 
It's not much. 2,500 coins is not much. And I had to beg for that other guy to give me 1,500. That's kind of queer. Whatever. I don't care. Are you Sell some of this junk that I picked up. Yes, I kept the pet tongs just for no reason. Not really, there's not really any, uh. They're just trophy items like every other trophy item, but. I just kept them anyway. Oh, uh, yeah. I had that for so long. And now I'm going to be wearing this. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Where are we going now? I gotta go... Toronto's estate. I've been searching for this armor for so long, like we're going through all these forests. Oh well, it's still good for the experience. I knew it was in some woods somewhere and I just wanted to get it as soon as possible. <laughs> I mean, look, my health, it just regenerates. It's the best armor ever. What'd you do to the dog? I'm about to do this dog. Well, I'm pretty sure he didn't do that exactly, but. I'm gonna restart fraps to make sure it's not laggy. By laggy, I meant desync, but same thing, really. Hello, good sir. Show me your good ass. Sir, I buy it and I sell it. <laughs> hey, he does. Actually, this helmet's better by just a tiny bit. I need more armor enhancement mods. I might think I used too many. I hope some stores have some more. Damn it. So 
so much random loots everywhere. Dawn House is always a book. At least one, anyway. Do, 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 do. What, what book was that? Some random junk. Hey, a beastery! Bald boar, a white snake, a shaggy forest spider, what? Black cave bear, mountain lions. Black steep buffalo. I didn't run into any of those. Wolves. Uh, brown bears were cut from the game, I think. Lynx were cut from the game. Snakes, I think, were cut from the game. So are bats. And there's trees, and sioux birds, and pet beasts. Cavemen. Tree snakes. I'm pretty sure they actually plan to put a bunch of those creatures into the game because if I remember right, the lynx, like, cats, like, their model was in the game when I was screwing around with the game editor thingy. Messenger, what? Hello. Do you need some? Why did I walk out of there? Sitting here talking and being stupid and walking out of where I need to be and not paying attention. Damn! Who are you? And how did you get here? Get away quickly before I call the guards! <laughs> Excuse me, I just lost my way. La 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 la. He only talks to Dons. Because people who aren't Dawn clothes are just ew. He didn't like my pants. Who are you, sir? To what do I owe your visit? I'm Moosen, Baron Moosen. I'm interested in something. It's ruined that it owns you. <laughs> I should say, I'm interested in something. It's rumored that you own it. <laughs> very glad, very glad to see you. A thing, you say? Isn't this a family portrait of my ancestor? I've heard you are a true original and even a collectioner of any antique trash. But I'm afraid there's nothing interesting in my house. Except a pair of paintings and Ta's epic tapestries. I like new things, you know, and I prefer to forward old ones to the dump. You didn't quite get I'm not interesting in antiques. I <laughs> thing I seek was once in the property of your ancestor, remembering some... Uh... Oh yes, my forefather was a very many-sided person. In the list of his whims, there was society as well. But what's your interest in this item? And what is it like, exactly? It's a silver bar, weird looking. It must be a picture or engraving on it. I have a great interest in ancient legends, so I could buy it at a reasonable price. Why? You fracture me, Baron. I'm not a merchant to trade some dusty antiquities of my ancestry. If you need that trifle, take it. 
But I should remember where I saw it last time. Hmm. It seemed to be in the library, in that huge chest. It almost crumbled to dust because of years. May I take a look on it? I'm afraid no. Five or six dozen days ago, I told him to put the library in order and throw away all the old stuff. Except books, of course. Ouch. Well, don't worry about it so. You can't possibly think it's gone to the dump. The servants have taken it out to my hunting residence near the swamps. It's several hours away from here. I'll send a groom now. He'll be there and back quickly. I hope you don't mind to stay for a while with me. Uh, is this guy gay? He sounds gay. <laughs> Surely, though. I I'm... see, I see. However, if you need this item so much, you'll have to wait a bit. Meanwhile, I suggest going hunting. I have a very presentable forest, you know. I already killed everything in the forest. Hunting, it's not that thing I would like. Baron, uh, you can't very well refuse. Consider it as my little whim. You get the trinket, I get... If so, Excellent. certainly. The chief huntsman must be there already. There is such a small uh, clearing not far from the castle, you couldn't help seeing it. Go to him. He'll explain you your part. Of course. Fire... Oh, wait. There's a major twist to this, isn't there? If I forget. I don't know. Where am I going? <laughs> what would your worship like? My guest here, Donnie, invited me to participate in hunting. Are you the chief huntsman? Explain to me then, what am I supposed to do? And show me the place to stay. I hope it's not two headed swords you hunt boars with. Well, it's me, the chief! But what makes think your worship that we're going to wave the swords? Who else? And how? Ah, possessions of Nova Pomo, I used to part such So your worship doesn't jokes! What a go! On a boar with swords, so one can easily become a cripple. And a <laughs> Enough. Pieces of hunting with Papa. We'll discuss later. Now show me where to. Stand. So you know, your worship will have to pursue the boar, and Don and we will meet it here then. He was? You mean me to be a beer? But well, don't be angry, your worship. You could count our men with the fingers of one hand. Our Don decided to hunt suddenly, but Yubda, who brings game to bay usually, broke his leg four days ago. Sort of fell from a horse. And we must take this boar anyway. And what the? Are you calling the shubs and searching boars for you? So, well, why to crawl? You aren't. The boar, we know where he is. <sighs> and if you refuse your worship, then can Angry, is there any terms angry? So this. you know, Marco will show you all you need. Forget it. I don't even know what he was saying anyway. So. I hunt with two-handed swords now. <laughs> All right. So it's simple. I get that boy to chase me. Just pursue him. How oh, don't you think that the Hulk will just trot 
for me, or will it actually turn me over with my horse? Oh, not at all, your worship. It's a young boar. If you were on foot, he would rush on, I think. But from the horse, he will run. Just move to him and don't let him turn aside. I don't got a horse, though. Am I just supposed to chase him? I'm gonna scare him. Yeah. Boogie, boogie, boogie. I should just follow him all the way over to. Where the hell these things come from? The spiders are spawning on me. Did I get a level up? I think I got a level up because my health is full, which is weird. Yes, I did. Now I totally don't know what to get. Health, eh. Two of our stamina is actually fake. So we'll go with that. And we got a new power strike move. Which is really nice. And this replaces what exactly that? So our current damage with the one that we're using is 337-1068, which went up to 315 and 16,058. It's our new special move, which does that. There's a wolf there. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, weird. Oh, we got a new power strike. And uh, that was just plain queer. I just swung a sword into a bush and killed a wolf that. I don't, I don't even know how that happened. Just go! Run! Go! It double strikes. Seriously. Quick. Oops. How do you kill it like so fast? It had a lot more health than I. Oh. Damn it! So it's you who was our beater? Tell the truth, Baron. I thought you disappeared somewhere. It said the beater has broken his leg. I thought you were in the picture. Yes, but this is not a reason to make a noble Don carry out a mob job. Never mind. <laughs> They'll each get a pair of lashes today, villains. It's not so bad. I even had fun about it. Really? So you aren't offended by me, Baron? That's good news. Look, here's the messenger. 
What have we here? That's it. Take the silver bar in hands. Exactly what I was And be checking. happy with it. To tell the truth, I almost doubted if I should give it to you. A memory after all. But after that dimwit's prank, this thing would be the least I can do for you. Oh, absolutely enough. Though, so if you could prompt me to who else is in that society, I'd be very grateful, don't you remember? Why not? I exactly know that there was an ancestor of Knox. He might have something similar, but I can't recommend to go to his possessions now. But why? Imagine, there are many pretendants on Knox's lands having appeared recently. All nature is there, and more, too. Grey riffraff, mad priests, raged commoners, all hangings. The castle is said to be under siege, and Knox himself is nearly out of soldiers to guard the castle. So I would rather wait a little with visiting. It's time to say farewell. I have yet some urgent things to do. I hope it wasn't your last visit. I'll always be happy to see you as my guest, Baron. Thank you, you're very kind. It was a great... Certainly. The Baron was so angry, your worship. It would be better if we were without the beater, or in smaller numbers. Not too bad, it was even funny, sometimes. Okay. What would you say, Baron? Did... Oh yes, I'm very, very excited. I haven't seen the hunt so exciting for a... Yes, it was a great hunting. Can I take your horse? Guess not. Fast horse, fast horse, fast horse. Great. Now we get to wander through the woods. I don't even know where these things came from. That new power strike is very useful. It seems to do like six, seventeen hundred damage actually, or eighteen hundred, because it does like six hundred and then one thousand one hundred. And the sound cut out. Isn't that wonderful? I don't even know if I'm being chased by something or not. Uh... Quest related, but I don't know any quests about nothing that has anything to do with that guy. Huh. I think I just found something quest related. That isn't the quest yet. No, it's probably that guy's gay lover. <laughs> and he threw him out the castle back window. <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me. 
I thought I did all the side quests that were here. Apparently not. There's some other kind of side quest here somewhere. Well, there's just a dead guy over there for absolutely no reason. Which is possible, but kind of weird. Let's get out of here so the sound will come back. I could just quick save or quick load, but then there's not really much of a point. So I'm leaving. Oh. They can actually leave the crop fields. Okay, let me get out of here. I don't care if anyone chases me, I'm just going straight to the exit. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What time is it? I think I should probably stop here. That seems like a good idea. Uh, Count Knox. So yeah, I think I'm gonna cut off here for now. I got a bunch of crap to sell. Yep. Just going through some stuff. So we're leaving off at Count Knox. That's enough for now. Just a single video. It should be. I think. Probably. Okay. Bye.